Australia. She's also been featured in numerous group exhibitions, Circuit City at My Winnipeg at Les Maisons Rouge in Paris, France, Cyborg Living Space 2, The Language of Intercession at the Oboro Gallery in Montreal, and Cyborg Hybrids at the Photo Quai Biennale des Images du Monde in Paris, France. She has also participated in residencies at the BAM Centre, the Confederation Art Centre in Charlottetown, the National Museum of the American Indian in New York. She has received several grants and awards for the Winnipeg Arts Council, the Manitoba Arts Council, and Canada Council for the Arts. 20 pieces from the Cyborg Hybrid series is the permanent collection of the National Gallery in Ottawa, 10 Circuit City prints to the Indian and Inuit Arts Centre in Ottawa, and Birch Bark Limited is in the collection of the Canadian Consulate in Sydney, Australia. Here is Casey Adams. stuff here together okay first of all I want to thank every single one of you that have showed up here today because what that tells me is that you are all interested in changing the way people perceive the city you are all interested in starting that discussion on how do we combat racism in our city we do not want to be known as the most racist city in Canada so how do we do it I like to think that this is probably one little stepping stone towards that movement. And I hope that each and every one of you go home, talk to your family, talk to your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, talk to your neighbors, talk to everyone, and ask them the same question. How do we move forward? How do we make change? I'm really excited to be here. I just can't believe everything that's been happening. Um, I feel I have had a very rich career as an artist, but I feel like all my training, my childhood, my parents, everything has brought me to this moment. And uh, I, I feel that we are on the edge of something really exciting. And it's my hope that with all of your help, we keep moving forward. Um, how this project started, um, for those of you who don't know, um, I was enraged by a, a tweet on Facebook, but all you have to do is go on the Winnipeg Free Press or the Winnipeg Sun sort of feeds uh, where people can make anonymous um, remarks and you can see how horrible some of the comments are, especially towards First Nation people. So I decided I wanted to do something about it. And that's where this project started. I put out a call out to people on Facebook saying, listen, I'm doing this photo project. I want to combat racism. Anyone interested? And Kim Wheeler, one of the first people I took photos of was right there and she said she wanted to do it. And same with Jordan. Um, you probably won't recognize him, he's not, he doesn't have his beard. <laughs> but, uh, um, they were the first ones I took photos of, and uh, it was through their conversations, talking with them, I realized what I needed to do. Uh, I took a photo of them saying, on the left side, saying really horrible things to them. Um, and I got that reaction, and that's what you see in the photo. They're not acting, they're reacting to my words. The second photo I got from reminding them about really pleasant and happy, wonderful moments in their life. Um, in some cases, I asked uh, 
I asked people to think about the first time they made out with their partner. That got a genuine laugh and a great big crinkly kind of smile, you know, that kind of smile where your eyes disappeared. So those were really genuine and um, it was important that the models uh, label themselves. So all the text that you see, it doesn't come from me, it comes from them. That's how they want people to perceive them. That's how people want to see them. They're not the stereotype that you see on the left. This is who they are. And it's, it's my hope that this work opens a dialogue and humanizes um, these models. And so that people are gonna be less inclined to slur those really horrible stereotypes or racial slurs. So I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for participating and putting your faces out there and being role models to um, role models to to our community and uh, thank you so much. Miigwech.